Mike and Rory, this is a moment that you're going to remember for the rest of your lives. Yours is a unique story that you'll have for the rest of your lives. Your journey here is your own and unlike anyone else's. For anybody who hasn't gotten to meet me yet, my name is Janessa. I have been lucky enough to have Rory as one of my best friends since I was 12 years old. Thank you guys all for coming out tonight. Celebrate these two incredible people on their special night. I'll never forget the day I found out I was gonna be a big brother. I was seven years old, mom and dad took me out to eat to surprise me. All I wanted was a baby bro and I'm so thankful you're the brother I got. There was one thing I wanted just as much as a baby brother, and that was a little sister. And now, 35 years old, I finally get my wish. When I tried to write the speech, um, I did everything I could to try and find like a proper starting place. Uh, I watched videos and I saw templates, but what I quickly came to find out was there aren't a lot of how-to guides for um, the type of sisterhood that I share with Rory. Our sisterhood has always been a space of freedom, laughter, unwavering love, and support. On a day like today, I truly see our lives coming full circle, and the way that God has orchestrated such a beautiful love story that I got to be a part of for is nothing short of a blessing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It's not easily angered, and it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in truth. It always protects, always trusts, always perseveres. Love never fails. You've both experienced loss and hurt in life, and God took you both from those places and brought you together to become a special couple who can understand one another through your experiences, and your bond can be unbreakable. God has blessed you both in a very real and incredible way. Marriage is beautiful. It takes a lot of work and self-sacrifice, and that work and self-sacrifice is worth it. The best way to navigate that is to be in God's word and hit the source of all wisdom daily. The best advice that I can give you both is this. Don't settle for an average or ordinary marriage. And I know you won't. This marriage, which we bring before God to ask his blessing on, is yours. Each of you own it. It's precious. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of marriage, for the beauty of intimate companionship in which we can share freely and be accepted completely. May this ceremony remind each of us the purpose of our own marriages and encourage us to fulfill the vows that we've made to one another. Father, it is with joy that we come to you in prayer and ask for your blessing on this marriage. May Mike and Rory's love continue to grow for each other and for you, God. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. For as much as you, Mike, and you, Rory, have openly pledged yourselves to one another in love and faithfulness in the presence of God and before these witnesses, by the powers invested in me, through the state of New Hampshire, and as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I pronounce you husband and wife. Therefore, what God has joined together, let not man separate. Now, Mike, this is what everybody's waiting for. You may kiss your bride. Family and friends, it is my honor and privilege to be the first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Michael Torres. Today is not only a special day for Mike and Rory, but it's also a special day for myself. I've gotten to watch two people who were once strangers become friends, then become more than friends, and today they become family. And of course I'm talking about the fact that Rory and I were once strangers and friends, and today we become cousins. <laughs> uh, Mike, what can I say, man? I'm so incredibly proud of you. I'm so proud of the man you've become, everything you've accomplished, the example you set for your nephews. The list goes on. I'm so honored to be speaking on your behalf today. If 
I know you two will be used in such big ways, and I'm honored to watch this all unfold. As someone who has loved you two for very long, for very many years, I want to thank you both for loving each other so beautifully. And in the wise words of Justin Bieber, there will be one less lonely girl. <laughs> Rory and Mike, I love you both so much. I wish you nothing but love and happiness for the rest of your lives. You guys know you can come to me for anything at any time. I'll always be here for you. All jokes aside, can I get busy on a niece or nephew now? Please. I will hold you. I'll throw the night.